Para publicitar su nueva e increíble peli Red Notice, la gente de Netflix me permitió conversar con su director, Rosson Marshall Thorber, y con sus protagonistas, Ryan Reynolds y, por supuesto, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. ¡Me muero! El resumen todavía llegará en unos días, pero mientras tanto, siéntate, relájate y disfruta de esta entrevista muy badass. Oh, y antes de comenzar, por favor, deja tu terrible like. No olvides to subscribe a Nerd Daily, by the way. Si eres cool, you would subscribe. Si no eres cool, well, you're an asshole. Perfectamente claro y entendido. Hello, Ryan. My name is Hi, Mauricio. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, Ryan, this movie is great, and it's quite a charisma overload with the cast, right? I mean, there's Dwayne Johnson, Gal Gadot, and of course, Canada's favorite son, you. I mean, <laughs> one could even go as far as to say the cast is sitting on the edge of pretentiousness. Like, isn't it a bit much? Uh, a bit much to have that this cast together, you mean? Yes. I mean, who's going to be in the sequel? Keanu Reeves? Uh, that'd be nice. I think he might be Canada's <laughs> favorite son. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd love to love Keanu Reeves to be in the sequel. I don't know how you do a sequel to this, but maybe they'll figure it out. <laughs> It'd be, uh, it's also, I think it's also totally fine these days to, to make something, you know, a one-off. I think that's also good too. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. we'll see. I, I, you know, I loved the process. I love working with Dwayne and Gal and, you know, we're all, we've all been friends long before this movie. So, Uh, it was pretty great. Okay. So, Ryan, I know you have a very fluid imagination, so I'd like to pitch you an alternate version of a scene from the movie, and then you can tell me if you like it or not, and or even how to make it better. Okay, great. Sure. Sure. So, the scene where you guys are at the Bull Arena. So, you enter it as, as per usual, uh, but instead of Dwayne facing the bull, you guys just stare at each other. Your eyes mm -hmm. meet, and then you face the camera. I'm talking wide angle here and you start running towards the camera in slow motion as the bull on the background for whatever reason explodes. Wow. Yes. I, I, cool uh, I as long as no bulls were harmed in the making of this scene that you've just pitched, <laughs> I'm totally comfortable with it. Sounds exciting to me. I think if the bull could explode and there's maybe like something interesting inside like Skittles, that might be nice. Yeah, Taste I mean the rainbow it, the bull could utter before it disappears into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be a great scene. I mean, it would piss a lot of people, but that's why we would use CGI bulls, right? This is exactly right. There's no reason yes. to use real bulls. Well, Ryan, before we wrap it up, because we have little, very little time, um, I'd like you to, to invite people to watch Red Notice, all the people in Latin America. Yeah, I'm Red Notice to, to, to show up on screens everywhere in Latin America. Can't wait. Thank you very much. Okay, well, Ryan, you've been amazing and I wish you all the best with your upcoming project. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it. Take care. Good evening, Mr. Rosson. My name is Mauricio and I'm a YouTuber. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, before we begin, I just gotta say I'm a huge Dodgeball fan. <laughs> I <laughs> loved it. Oh, good. I'm so, Clearly, you have exceptional taste in cinema. <laughs> of course, of course. So Red Notice is packed with action scenes, uh, both weapon handling and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And you have Dwayne, Gal, and Ryan doing all these uh, um, sequences. So uh, my question is, were you under a lot of pressure or stress knowing that you have in your hands some of Hollywood's best paid actors and they could get injured doing all this choreography? <laughs> you know, I was never really nervous about anybody getting, getting injured. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm very cognizant of, any, of everybody, every member uh, of the cast and crew of trying to keep people safe. Um, that's first and foremost. No one should get, uh, no one should risk injury um, in, in making a movie. But you know, sometimes it does happen. You know, we're 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 making a big action film, and and you can you know sprain an ankle or or you know bang a finger or something like that. Uh, but but we had a great team, a great safety team, a great stunt team, a great special effects team. Uh, so I was I was never um, never worried uh, uh, on set. Okay, so for my next question, uh, well, at the end of the movie, uh, which I will not spoil, we kind of yeah. get a glimpse of, you know, what um, what this movie could uh, potentially evolve into, like a, a, a sort of team, I got the vibe, like a sort of team could be born, kind of like Fast and Furious meets Indiana Jones, so that would be great. My question would be, um, are there any plans to make a sequel? Uh, no, there are no current plans to make a sequel, uh, but... I, uh, you know, I love these characters. I love this world. I love this tone. 
And uh, I think, um, uh, you know, if, if I were given the opportunity, I have an idea of, of where it would go from here. And uh, there's nothing official yet, but we'll see. Great. So uh, also there's a, a charisma overload in your cast. Everybody <laughs> loves Dwayne, everybody loves Gal, and everybody loves Ryan. Yeah. So in the, in the, for a future film, uh, perhaps you would want to work with someone as charismatic as them, kind of love, kind of like Keanu Reeves or Terry Crews, I'm sure. thinking. Uh, those are great. Uh, Keanu uh, Reeves have been a huge fan of my whole life and Terry Crews, of course. Uh, you know, I'm a JLo fan. I'm a Hemsworth fan. Who knows? Well, uh, that's it for all the time we have. But uh, Mr. Russell, you've been amazing. I thank you. And I congratulate you because the movie is amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it. I like your Terminator behind you. Be careful. Watch out. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, Mr. Take it easy. Evening, Mr. Dwayne Johnson. What? Hello, Mauricio. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay. I was just trying to one-up your vibe, but... I mean, look at you. That's impossible. Look, anyway. I wasn't going to say anything about the glasses. I was like, this dude's coming to go. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So I've already seen the movie, uh, Dwayne, and I guess you could say the essence of Red Notice is like conning and cheating and tricking and staying up ahead of your enemy like two steps, right? The whole time. Yeah. So I know uh, that you will also be playing basically a god in a different movie, which is uh, Black Adam, of course. And your co-star, Gal Gadot, uh, of course, plays Princess Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman. And then there's Ryan, who plays Deadpool. So in the spirit of conning and tricking and cheating, who would you say out of these three characters would be most likely to outsmart the other two? I mean, who would be the sneakiest and smartest? Black Adam, Wonder Woman, or Deadpool? Well, I can tell you who wouldn't be the sneakiest. Who, Black Adam wouldn't be the sneakiest. He wouldn't be the sneakiest, but he is blessed with wisdom. Oh, right. That, that's, that's true. Um, so I would have to say that, look, the smartest of the group, without a doubt, Wonder Woman. <laughs> of course. Of course. So uh, which scene would you say was your favorite? You know, coming from someone who has fought demons, giant kaijus, earthquakes. In this movie, which scene would you say it was like the craziest one? The craziest scene, I think, would be what we did in the bull ring. Because, right. <laughs> right. We were, I wanted, I wanted real bulls, but unfortunately we couldn't get real bulls. Uh, yes. So it wound, but still you had to go through the action as if you were getting really like, excuse my language, but really fucked up by a bull <laughs> and what that would look like getting thrown around and beat up. I mean, it was, that was rough. And that the ground that we were on, that was a real, <clears throat> We built uh, as best we could a real bull ring, so that ground was pretty unforgiving. Anytime right, we landed on it. Uh, well, Dwayne, finally, my channel's name is Nerd Daily, and I was wondering if you could like invite people to watch Red Notice on Netflix, uh, you know, in, in Latin America, but also at the end add like something like, and don't forget to subscribe to Nerd Daily. So to everybody who's watching Nerd Daily, watch and enjoy. Red Notice on Netflix. You're gonna love it, I promise you. And there's a really cool, well, I won't give it away. You'll see. And don't forget to subscribe to Nerd Daily, by the way. If you're cool, you would subscribe. If you're not cool, well, <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dwayne. You are awesome and I love your work. I wish you all the best with your upcoming projects and, and you know, long live Black Adam, man. Thank you. I look forward for you, for you to see Black Adam. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, thank you, man. You've been awesome. Take care. See you, buddy. Espero que hayas disfrutado el video y no olvides que Red Notice se estrena este viernes 12 de noviembre en Netflix. Y espera, aún no te vayas a ver no por sin antes haberte suscrito y haber manoseado la campanita. Pero bueno, suficiente sarcasmo por un día. Yo soy Mauricio. Gracias por ver y hasta la próxima.